Have you ever wondered how two computers talk to each other? Yeah, kind of like that. But there's a very fundamental networking concept that applies here called the OSI model. Want to learn more? Stay tuned. Okay, so you want to know how messages go from one computer to another, how packets traverse the network and reach from one location to another. In order to understand that, we are going to take an example. Now let's say I'm sending a physical package to my mom on Mother's Day, and I want to include a message in it that says, say Happy Mother's Day, right? Happy Mother's Day, but it is a super secret message after all, right? So I encrypt it, and let's say I call this Mother of Dragons. And my mom is the only one who knows that if I'm saying Mother of Dragons, that means Happy Mother's Day. The next thing that happens is I wrap up the package with that message and give it to the shipping service. Now the shipping service would create a label for me with sender and receiver information so that it says that I'm the sender and my mom is the receiver. And that means it kind of establishes a connection between the two so that it can traverse, that message can traverse, or in this case, the package can traverse. Now, since my box was too big, and was too heavy, so they asked me to actually split it into three different boxes. Now in this case, let's just say mother was this one box, right? Because we are assuming that these words are boxes in our case, but you get the idea. And off is another box, and then dragon is another box, right? So we have these three boxes. Now the shipping company adds a building number to each box to identify the right building when it reaches my mom, right? Even if the boxes arrive separately. Now, in order to make sure that each of these boxes reach the right address, right building, um, even if they arrive separately at my mom's house, we, the packaging company, makes sure that they add the building number to each of these packages. Now, let's just look at one box for a second here. Then they decide which route, and the shipping company now decides which route to send the boxes on. Put it on a plane from SF to Chicago, to New York or from SF to Austin to New York or any other combinations of, of destinations, right? So for those reasons, now every packet along with the building number also, now the shipping company has to pick the best route so the package takes the least time. So now here at this layer, what they do is add a route detail to every single box. Now, once it arrives in New York, which is the destination, it needs to have additional information. What is the additional information it needs? Now, every single packet or package in this case would need, it already, already has a building number, it has the route, but now it also needs, but now it also needs the house number. So now it has the house number associated with every single package. And finally, an actual person gets on their shipping truck, right, and delivers this package to my mom's house, physically. Now, if we parse this example in technical terms, in the OSI model layer terms, then here are our layers, the application, the presentation layer, the session layer, the transport layer, network layer, data link, and physical. Now, how does that work? Now, the first three here are really all about our data and our application. Starting transport layer onwards, the data converts into smaller units to transport it across the network, where a transport layer really is um, where the protocol TCP and UDP come into picture, and where it's broken down into what is called as segments. So the message is broken down into segments, which is what we did here. It was broken down into mother, then off, and dragons, right? And we also associate ports at this level, which is what this building number was, right? So port, for example, 80, 8080 for HTTP, HTTPS 443, and then to make sure the message is received at the right port, this information helps it on the other computer to, or the client, from, from the client to the server. This port helps the server to understand which port to listen on. Then at the network layer, each segment gets more padded information, such as here we added the route and 
in OSI model scenario, right, over the network, you want to find the best route to get from this computer to this computer. And that happens through BGP, the bottom gateway protocol, and it uses and the, also the IP address, right? So you know the IP address and you route the, um, you define the route of what this, this packet is going to take um, from this computer to this another computer. So that's BGP. Um, and that happens at the network layer. And the concept starts to become, now it becomes packet. So it gets, starts to get associated with packet, right? Now the data link layer, where it gets converted, where this message or the packet at this point gets converted into frames uh, with additional information. Uh, and this additional information, like in our example, we gave it a house number, right? This additional information um, is really to make sure that the delivery at the other end to the server is error free and um, in sequence so that uh, you know, mother arrives before of, before dragon, right? So that sequence, and it's also error free. And then lastly, the physical layer is the one that converts the frames into actual bits, which is the zeros and the ones, and it, it transfers the, the bits over the electrical signals, which is where you might have seen these electrical waves. This is pretty much how a packet actually transfers from in over the network from one computer to another using the OSI model. How did you like this explanation of OSI model? Let me know in the comments below. And happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Don't forget to subscribe for more cloud concepts.